Hi everyone, with us today is Professor Michael Sawyer, who is the Medical Advisor to the Australian Rotary Health Board of Directors. Today we will be talking to Michael about our new research funding focus, the mental health of young Australians aged 0 to 12. How are you, Michael? Good. The sun has come out in Adelaide, so <laughs> I'm feeling even better. Oh, that's great. <laughs> So at the moment, you're behind the scenes helping us put together a new symposium in 2022, which will present um, this new research focus. Can you tell us what is the name of this symposium? It's called Healthy Children, Bright Futures, and it's improving the, uh, it's got a subtitle, improving the mental health of zero to 12 year olds. And the focus, of course, is to suggest that we can uh, have healthy children, their futures become much brighter. Yeah, well, that sounds really great. When can researchers expect to attend this symposium and where will it be held? It's uh, happening at the end of March next year, hopefully all being well, and it will take place in Sydney. And would you like to tell us a bit more about the reasoning behind narrowing this research focus uh, to a younger age group? Yeah, there are a couple of reasons. Um, there's been an, a great focus on uh, the mental health of youth in Australia and of adults youth being 15 to 25 year olds where you would have seen there's been a lot of advocacy very effective advocacy uh, but our sense is that there's been less emphasis on the, uh, the mental health of zero to 12 year olds and, and this is a problem because uh, something like 14 percent of that group of australian children have mental health problems that's about half a million children at any uh, point of time uh, mental health problems impose a big burden on the health of, uh, and well-being of, of young children and we also know that something like 50% of mental health problems or mental disorders across all age groups have onset by the age of 14. So it's, it's a, an important period of development. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. A very important area. And, and this symposium will um, feature some of the, the world renowned experts in the field of child mental health. Um, who, who will be attending this conference? Who will some of the, the speakers be? I'm, I'm a little bit reluctant to uh, pick out individuals because then the other uh, attendees will complain that I didn't consider them to be uh, preeminent. But in broad terms, we've got two groups attending. Uh, one group represents the senior researchers uh, of the last 30 to 40 years. So we've got a group of people who were amongst the most creative uh, and innovative over that time. People who developed innovative online programs, who provided important advice to governments, uh, who undertook some of the, the world's uh, established or famous uh, epidemiological studies showing the prevalence of mental health problems uh, in Australia. So that's one group. The second group uh, are the up-and-comers in a sense, the new professors, the people who are establishing themselves in the area. And one of the things I've found fascinating is how many of these people have been helped along their way by Australian Bradbury Health. So they've either had scholarships or they've had funding support really really important because in areas of health that have been successful in solving problems in solving health areas or problems that it's never one generation you need a second and a third generation of researchers so Australian Rotary Health support of this next generation I think is of fundamental importance it's ensuring we've got the workforce and the capacity to, to, to solve the problems that remain unsolved yeah, yeah, well, we've definitely seen many, many great researchers um, who are even in their early careers, um, you know, doing some great work. So it'll be great to see that. Um, and yeah, um, so it sounds like a very exciting event. Is, is there anything else that you would like our audience to know about this new research focus? Yeah, I mean, we know from studies that we've undertaken across Australia that the prevalence of mental health problems amongst zero to 12 year olds and in fact other age groups hasn't changed over the last 20 years or so. I mean, some conditions have gone up a little bit in terms of their frequency, some have gone down, but overall, the similarities across that period of time outweigh the differences. And that says to me that we haven't yet cracked. How do we actually reduce the size of the problem, the frequency of it, the prevalence of it, uh, in a substantial way? And to do that, we need new knowledge. We need to find new ways of helping children and their families address this awful problem of mental health problems. And that's what this conference is, is trying to kick off, to establish, to highlight, uh, kicking into, well, how can we use Rotary's funding to best advantage to change the lives of these children? That, that's what we're trying to do.
Yeah, well, yeah, as I said before, it's very important, um, a very important area. So thank you again, Michael, for, for um, telling us all about that today and, and you take care. Thank you. Thanks.